This one's going to be on Kodi CLI. It's a uh, command line way to send YouTube links to your Kodi Media Center. And if you're using like a web browser, you know, they actually have different plugins for this. But, uh, well, let me show you an example here. If you're using Chromium, uh, you can have this extension. It's called Crassy Share. And it'll just basically send, uh, you know, videos from YouTube to Kodi if you wanted to. So it had this little play and add to queue here. And let's say, for example, I play this here, right? So this is what the extension does. It'll play the video. Stop it here. Uh, or you can queue the video if you already have one already playing. But this is, I wanted to, a way to do this from the command line, and this was um, the bash script that does here. So this is Kodi COI. So I'm giving you um, what it has in here. Um, this is the help page. And basically, you know, you can do play, pause, and, and all that. But if you want to send a YouTube video, uh, all you got to do is get the URL or the ID. So, for example, uh, I go in here, I copy the link here or something, and I do dash Y, and then I just, you know, tell it to do that, and I'll send it to my Kodi Media Center, and there you go, it starts playing the video, right? Uh, same thing. Now, if you want to queue it, because if you, you know, add another link in here, let's say, for example, this one. Um, I'm going to do the same thing again. If you just uh, use the same Y flag, it was going to pause, or not pause, it'll stop the, the video that you're playing and it'll play the new video. Now, if you want to queue it, um, make sure you do the Y flag first and then like use the queue uh, flag next. All right. So, for example, we want to add another video. Let's say, for example, we'll add this, uh, this one here. And we'll do the same thing. But we'll do a dash Q here, and we're just gonna paste that in, and that is it. It's gonna add it to the playlist, right? So that's how you use this here. Pretty simple. And if you're gonna use this in a script or something, uh, really convenient because you don't have to use like an external extension on your web browser or whatever. We're just gonna use the command line to do it, and that's why it's great about this. Now the other thing that you need to do in here, if if you change your was that your ports or where you have a username or a password or whatever then you have to open the script uh, with your text editor and well really if you didn't do anything then you don't have to do any of this stuff because uh, by default there's no username or password and the ports have not changed or anything so right now here this is our local host and the port I think the default one was 8080 or something like that so if you're using a different port then just make sure you change it here like I did all right that's pretty much all you gotta do for setting it up and everything and oh yeah in Kodi you make sure you have you know um, well I think it's like remote something like that in, in your Kodi settings and you should be good to go uh, and this script will work anywho that is the script it's just a bash script to send YouTube links directly into Kodi um, for, for your media center experience that's it for this one